Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bandy Guys and Repentance World Challenge Series in the previous episode. We played as Tinted Lost. We just kind of did a little run as him even though we've got his completion marks done. I thought I did some of them off camera so I might as well give a little try at a mother run. And we had a lot of fun. We ended up making it to the end on our first go of it. I was very happy with that. But this time we're going to jump in as Tinted Blue Baby. Tinted Blue Baby is a character that I really like and I know how to play much better because of you guys. Oh my god, Samson's Chain. I'm just going to reroll. I'm not, I'm not having Samson's Chain. I'm sorry but that's just a terrible item. Um... But yeah, I know how to play him. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute. I've got to go check something here. That's kind of interesting. Right. Uh, yeah. I um, I know how to play much better because of you guys. You left a lot of good tips and everything. I know it's been quite a while since a lot of people left those initially. But do remember, I've got a backlog of episodes. So sometimes it's going to be a while before I hear some of these tips. But we do have a mod called Trinket Stacking. I wonder if Cracked Dice is included. Let's have a little look see, shall we? Cracked. It doesn't like Cracked Dice is included, unfortunately. And maybe it already has doubled the effect. Uh, what, what is its effect again? It uses a random dice effect, isn't it? Ch chance to trigger a random dice effect when getting hit. Why not? Why the hell not at this point? We'll, we'll keep that. I'm just going to pop that to get these bits of coinage. Interesting. Getting ourselves a golden trinket right off the bat. Might not be a good golden trinket, but by damned if I don't try and use it because it's golden. <laughs> it's just it's just special, so you've got to. That's the rules. Boom. Get pooped on. Extra key. Getting a lot of keys this time. That's great. Been having a, a lot of runs recently where I've not been really getting the keys I need to go for mother on the first few floors. But this time, seems a little more generous. Some flies in here to do some damage for us. Don't stand right next to that poop, because you're going to blow it up. You're going to blow it up. Yep, you blew it up. You meanie. You big meanie. Right, it's okay. But yeah, the, the, the creep that you can make, the poop creep, is kind of the main one that I now have been sort of taught how to use. It combines with all the different poop effects to create some really, really strong effects. It's kind of hard to use it, like, optimally, but we can get some easy boss kills with it if we get, like, the holy poop or the fire poops to make fire mine shots. Pretty interesting. I noticed it happening prior to this, but I never really knew exactly what the cause of it was. I didn't know if it was just random or like, or what it was really. Right. Don't use any more poops yet. Oh, that was a really bad hit of damage there. Really bad hit of damage. Um, enemy, jumping jack boy. Could you get over here, please? Oh, you're the uh, reforming one, aren't you? Indeed you are. We're good though. And we get glitter bombs. Wait. <sighs> I think glitter bombs are, are, are literally useless. Let's let's just do a quick reboot. I know that we've got a golden trinket, but it's not a good one. I want to actually get an item because I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I've, I've attempted recording this blue baby run a few times now. And like my first floor has either had no keys or like items that literally do nothing. Um, That might be pretty decent. We can take that. We can take tech two. Uh, also, it is going to mean that poops get destroyed a bit easier. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for us, but we'll see. We shall see. We'll, we'll hold that and we'll use this. But yeah, I think we should be able to get a bit more damage here for the most part with Tech 2. It would be a little easier for us to kill things. And there you go. Okay, some of, our, some of my quarrels and qualms have been slightly answered there. Very nice. Yeah, Tech 2, I think, is going to be a really good damage augment, considering how poor Blue Baby's tears are. Um, I don't think this will be it, but I'm going to test it anyways. Do you know what? It was. Great stuff. Thank you. And it's an Eternal Heart as well. Very, very nice. I'm very happy with that indeed. Yeah, good. Keep you away. You're going to blow up, so I want to keep you up there. Got another bomb here for Second Secret Room, which I... Oh, wait, that was second secret room. So normal secret room is probably right here. Yes, we did it. Good secret roomage all around, people. All around. Um, Do we want to... We'll, we'll come back with this bomb. I was going to say, do we want to exhaust all of our poops in order to get to that bomb poop and bomb that uh, guy for the nickel? But I don't know if we do. Um, Let's first of all do this and then go like this. And then there you go. Fire mine throughout. Got to be careful because obviously it is explosive still. But now we actually get fire mine while still on the creep. Along with the additional normal stats you get. 
pretty cool stuff. Thank you for the tips, people. Uh, unfortunately, we've got the box here. Really not what we need. Uh, did give us a decent trinket, though. I can't complain about that. Hanged Man could be useful in the future, and I'll take a pill. Lock upgrade. Cool. Um, we also got one of these. Thank you, thank you. Right, let's go and do that. I think stone ones we can just kind of eat out. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Get some flies from it at least, I guess. Get three. Doesn't really matter. And doesn't really matter. Oh, this is a lot of bomb poops. That's one. Right, do we want to take a risk and try and buy Alabaster Box? It's a very big risk, I'll give you that. We might not even be able to afford it if this... Yep, I knew it was going to do that. Oh, no, no, it gave us enough. Do you know what? I'm going to try it. It's a very big risk. It's a very big risk, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to try it out and see if we can get something going with this. Right, let's go down... Um. We'll go normal path first and then dip back onto the uh, the alt path just to try and make soul hearts a little easier to keep. That went straight into our alabaster box. Great. That's also really good for us there too. Getting one right off the bat. A tinted drop that is. Hopefully it actually pays out. There we go. We got a bomb as well right off the bat here. This is, this is, this is exactly what we need. If it double pays out with spirit hearts, then I'll be very, very happy. Right. It... Paid out with two lots of poop. That is literally the worst payout we could have hoped for. Completely pointless to us, almost. That's that's kind of annoying, but that's the game, I guess. Hey, the light is helping us out here. Nice. Holy poop, we, we definitely want to get a hold on that. Oh, my God. We need flight. We, actually, I was just about to say, we, we need flight. We have flight. Hanged man. Uh, Guppy's eye. That's pretty decent. Let's us know if blue fires have soul hearts and then that's always good. We want to be going to our shop as well here. Uh, that's good to know that that chest would be worthless. Great to know, in fact. We're good. Poop there. Just quickly destroy that. Good, good. Right. We do have a holy poop. We don't have a poop slick right now. I might go and try and get a poop slick before we go. That's what I'm going to call the creep from now on. It just, it flows off the tongue, doesn't it? It rolls off the tongue. Poop slick. I like it. Right. Kill one of them. Kill one of them. Do we have secret room inklings here? Let's just try here, shall we? Sadly not. Right. Tech 2. Honestly, yeah. Super, super happy we took tech 2 here. Very useful for us right now. There you go. We have a uh, fire poop at least. We can use that. Right, some bombs as well. Might want to just throw the fire poop out so we can utilize the bombs. Blue baby's only friend. I don't think that helps us at all, does it? No. Right, secret rooms. Secret rooms. Let's have a little look around. This top wall could very easily be secret room, I'm fairly sure. Uh, I just need to check this one room up here because this room did have quite a lot of rocks in it. But I don't know if it was covering secret room. It was not. So therefore, I think we go like that and lob it there. Yes, that did it. Sadly, just a key. Not exactly what we're looking for. I will bomb you though. Really? Just a penny? Just a singular penny. Oh my god. Just a singular penny. Let's go to that big room and see what we can work out over there. Dice room, I'm a little... I don't know. Let's... Uh, we've got enough keys. Let's go for the dice room and just check it. It might be like a, a four room that lets us reroll pedestals. Or a five room, which is really, really good for us. I'll definitely do a five room. Go find our item room, fight our boss, and then we'll come back for that, I think. Right. This room, just get th these poops out of here. Get that going. Get all of these flies dead first because they're the easiest by far for us. What's left? Okay, one of you. That was easy, actually. That's a really easy room. Right, in we go. Oh. Now, this is a bummer. That is a fantastic item for us. But we will have to leave Alabaster Box with it having Soul Hearts in it. Which is just not what I'd like to do. <laughs> There's just, I don't think there's any way we fill up Alabaster Box on this floor. I, I really don't know what to do here now. 
Oh. I'm going to make the dumbest play of my life. And I'm going to just say no. I'm just going to stick with Alabaster Box and hope for the best. I am quickly just going to do this, though. See what that pill ends up being. Pretty fly, that's good stuff. Oh, we did get a poop slick here, that's great. Uh, I'm not going to use the, the book yet because I want to get a normal deal, uh, a normal uh, item room. Sorry, boss room item, even. I want to get a normal boss room item, then I'll come back in and I'll do that. Right. Let's go fight the boss. Poop slick. Great stuff. Oh, I destroyed the poop immediately. I'm terrible for that. Get back over there, you. Got a black out of that guy. That's rather nice. Oh, no way. We're one off. See, the... The question now is, do we go into the deal with the devil and bank on it being a soul heart? Or do we play angel? I think we have to play angel. But the, the most annoying thing is Book of Revelations is going to give us a soul heart, but not into Alabaster Box. It's going to give us it on our health bar. I think second secret room is, is the only conceivable way at the minute that we get a play on Alabaster Box this floor. But I don't know where it could be. Because there's a, quite a few different spots it could be. That's not it. It could be any one of these walls as well. I think it's likely to be one of these walls actually. Ah, this is, this is painful. Leaving Book of Revelations here is going to be painful. But at this point I really can't turn my back. Come on, one poop give one poop needs to give me a soul heart here. Come on. Come on. You can do it, game. That's a penny. It's close. <laughs> Not quite what we need. Oh my god. This is This is true anguish right here. The fact that this is gonna give us a soul heart but not into Alabaster Box is the biggest fuck you of it all. If it just drops it on the floor, we could take Book of Revelations with us. That's that's upsetting. Anyways, five room and I'm sticking with Alabaster Box because it's going to give us three soul hearts and it's, it's already so full. We can't leave it anymore. Got you. Right. Keep pushing forward. And hope for the best. Hope you get a soul heart early as well. Tinted rock would be like the best and easiest way. And there's a tinted rock right there. So I think we throw out this bad boy. And then we save that until we get a poison poop. Or a bomb poop, whatever. We just use that. Kills you. Go away. Go use our slick. Poop slick. Nice. Getting a small lot of tears about this. I don't really know if that's even helping, but I'll say it is. Even though it probably isn't. Right. Um, That's not... A... Oh, it is golden, though. Hmm. Spawn a chest after clearing a challenge room. That seems pretty good for us. I think we should take that. Right. I'm just going to buy this just so we don't have to piss around. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what we get. I am vindicated in my decision. I am vindicated in my decision. I feel like I made the right decision, people. I don't know about you, but I feel like I made the right decision. Right. Good, good. Yeah, I feel like I made the right decision here. Another pretty fly. We just got... Doubled our damage to 17, plus 2.3 times extra damage, plus herming. Pretty good stuff, I'd have to say. Pretty good stuff. Oh my god, yes. Tech 2 plus herming as well. That's great. Tech 2 plus herming is very, very nice here. We've probably transcended the need to use our, um, our poops at all now, you know. Honestly. 
The D1 is great here. Because standing on the poop slick gives us the sacred heart effects. Oh, in the holy poop. But now we have the sacred heart effects. Right, so I think we want to go... Ah, no, we can't do it yet. We need, to, we need to destroy that, but we can't do it quite yet. Good, good. Right, we need we need a, a, a thingy poop. Okay, actually, that works, that works. Let's go fight our boss. This gives us extra, extra bonus damage and stats, so yeah. Angel deal as well. That's great. That is very, very good. Hop in here. That's pretty good. I like it. My goodness. Also, I think Crack Crown, because we don't, don't ever have red hearts, works really well for us here too. So I think what we want to do is for the Tinted Rock. Let's go back. First of all, I'm going to go in here because we have plenty of health. Uh, two Burn Hearts. I, I don't really think we need the second Burn Heart at all. We go back down here. We can slick there. That doesn't matter. So then we fart there and throw a bomb at it. There, you see that? The smart plays. I could have d it, but we don't need to at the minute because we are absolutely fine for that. Just make sure we get our key pieces now. That's all we need to do. Make sure we get our key pieces. Because this run is pretty godly. Alabaster box paid out in the best way it possibly could. It really did. Um, I'll come back to you, Curse Room. I might use you, I might not. Oh, God. Just with Tech 2, it's so fun. Uh, we don't need keys, we need bombs. So we need to be holding stuff that's going to give us bombs. Cricket's head? I don't think Cricket's head actually does anything for us. But I'm going to take it nonetheless. <sighs> I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. It does great stuff for us. I thought Sacred Heart Damage Multiplier wouldn't stack with it. It definitely stacks with it. It definitely stacks with it. So I think we need to... Yeah, let's go straight for our boss. We've got a horse pill there. Go straight for our boss here. Go for this. All right, don't pick up any of the poops on the floor here. Another angel deal there. That's great. So I think we want to go... Um, right, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? We want to go... 2, 2... Thru, 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 and thru. There we go, that did it. I'm sorry, poops. I miss, I misused you, I abused you, but it had to be done. Angelic Prism. No keys to open either of these, sadly. That's a bit of a shame, considering both of them contain items, and I have the D1, which would mean more items. That's a real shame. I mean, it's still open. We might be able to get in there after... Uh, let's go see if we can get some keys, I guess. Right, don't forget about our white fire, our key piece. We need that so bad. In fact, we've already seen our item room. We haven't seen our, our thingy room yet, though. Our mirror room, so we don't want to do it quite yet. Oh, not scary. Yeah, so there's our mirror room. Go get on our white fire. Probably should have uh, gone into that cash room before taking the heart there, but oh well. Right, we might die here, but I doubt it. I think as the lost, we should be fine. So let's go for it. This is the best run ever. The best run ever conceived. Look at that. Oh my god. 32 damage. Beautiful. Go get ourselves an additional boss item as well. I really don't think there's any reason not to. Also, we want to clear more rooms to get more keys if possible. And there's one of them. What's better though? 25 cent or a um or a tears up? Hard to know. Hard to know. Oh, I should have D1 the key. I'm stupid. Why didn't I just D1 the key? And there's HP up, which we don't need. <laughs> shame. Bit of a shame there. Right, we kind of have to go to our cash room anyways, even though we've wasted the HP potential. Is this a mob trap room? Because if it is, it's a boss trap room. We can't really get in there. I'd love to get in it, though, because we've got the, the, the golden temporary tattoo going on right now. 
Right, through we go. Through we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the cash room. Yeah, it worked out anyways. And it gave us an additional key. Which means we can open up both the items now. Which is great. If the if the angel room's still open, it might not be. It might not be. But this is a, ver a very angelic run. Very angelic indeed. Um, yeah, we are doing this in the right order, aren't we? Yeah. Ah, it's not open anymore. That's fine. It's a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Right. Uh, we haven't been to the shop, but I don't feel like we need to. We've got our knife piece. We are good to go. Down we go. Just a, a, a hot technology 232 damage run. Nothing, nothing major. Nothing major. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like, we literally just don't, have to, don't even have to try. Trying just isn't in our wheelhouse at all. Do we even need to press all these buttons? No, we didn't. We had absolutely no need to do so there. Um, there was a poop in here. There's two. I'm just going to D1 this key for now. Just to get two keys. D1's going to be kind of good for like eternal hearts, soul hearts, all that sort of stuff. We can go straight for this boss, can't we? Yes, we can. Uh, sadly, it's a, a boss that we can't just insta-delete. But now we can. You're the worst boss ever designed. It's so annoying to fight you. I really hate it. Good job, we got him. Perfection. We'll 100% be taking that. I'm sorry about the other thing there. Um, yeah. Moldy bread doesn't matter for now. If we can manage to keep perfection for this floor, then that would be really, really nice. We might not be able to keep it. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, what we've got to the point now where we've completely transcended the fact of needing to use poops, which is kind of sad because it is fun to use them. But at the same time, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use them when I have absolutely no need to do so. Rooms are dying so unbelievably quick. Like, why would I bother? Right. Boom. There's a challenge room. Kind of wish I had the, uh... I kind of wish I had the Golden Effect Mums thingy now. I kind of want to go back and get it. Do you know what? I'm going to go back and get it. I know it's a bit of a waste of time, but I'm going to go and do it anyways. Right. Let's head on up. I just want to see what the Golden version does, because it, 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 it does have an additional effect with the Trinket Stacking mod. And I've never, I've never really used this trinket anyways, and especially a golden version of it. I feel like I definitely have to use it. Like it might end up giving us an item or something. I don't know. Also, now it means we can go in here. We won't lose perfection. Nine lives. Doesn't nine lives kind of break this? I mean, I've got to try it, haven't I? Uh, let me just do this. Okay, good. Yeah, so I think I think I'll lose all my HP here, but I don't think I care. Also, also definitely should have D1 that. Yeah, we lost all our HP, but then we D1 that. Come out of here. We grab this chest in the middle here. We don't open the other two chests at all. What we could have done is D1 to the chest with the, the soul hearts in it, to be fair. That would have also been... What am I getting hit by right now? This is why I didn't bring perfection with me. Getting hit by some funky bullshit right now. Not going to use the pill. Try and make our way to our shop. Yeah, I think, this, I think this run's good enough that we were okay to lose this much health. Nine lives isn't going to be super influential, but it's going to be nice. We find any more soul hearts as well, we can D1 them. Health doesn't isn't too hard to get for us. Let's pop in here. That's really good. We'll definitely take that. Extra technology. Quickly check in here. I don't think soul converter works for us. Crack that open. Oh, why'd I even do that? There's a penny right in this fire. 
stupid. That was just stupid. Right, let's go. Definitely should have. Uh, I've definitely misused my D1 a little bit here. I could have got some extra stuff, but hey, her. The sun. Definitely hold that. But yeah, tech point five here is really good. So much technology going on right now. I love it. We do. This is only mines one. Yep. So we still got another floor before we have to go do our chase sequence. We grab that. We grab this, and we go down. I don't exactly know what the uh, the golden tattoo thing did for us, but oh well. One moment. Okay, let's go. I just can't believe how overpowered this run's managed to get. It's insane. It's it's legitimately insane. Um, don't think we can do anything with this. So I'm not gonna bother. Why not just bomb this? Get the three pennies out of it. That's more than three. I don't know where what was going on there, but that was way more than three. Also, we haven't really used that. We should use that more often. Oh, we got a lucky penny in here. Somewhere. One of these is a lucky penny. Which one is it? I think it's this one here. That one there. So we D1 it. And we D1 it. So if, when we lose perfection, we still have a ton of luck. Because we will lose perfection. There's no way we're keeping it. I can try my hardest, but it ain't gonna happen. Right, keep going. Do you know what? I'm just gonna use my sun card here, actually. Find out where we're going. That was very close to us losing the perfection trinket right there. Very much was indeed. Go do our... Uh, actually, I was gonna say, let's go do our boss. Let's go do another duplication first. Get our luck going. In fact, we can go back and do our item room and everything this way. It'll mean easier D1 charges. Get as much luck as we can. Unless we find soul hearts, then of course we want to start duplicating them instead. Right, good. Bible tract here is interesting. There's another D1 charge there. Right, come on. There you go. Just waiting for that guy to pop up. <sighs> if we got a soul heart in there, D1ing would have been great. Good. Pop that open. Sadly, nothing great out of that. And there you go. Double keys. That's rather nice. Go into both of these pretty easily. Let's check it out. Juicy sack. Honestly, it's not great, but I'll take it. It's going to give us extra spiders. Golden penny. Now, we could get pretty unlimited money here by D1ing the golden penny. But I, is it worth it, though? Not really. I don't think even... Because we've got Steam sales, so we don't need a lot of money. If this thing even gets us to 50 cent, which it most likely will, then I, I think... Okay, it didn't quite, but I don't think we need it. Like, and the thing is as well, it's always a gamble uh, duplicating those. Because the thing is, you might get... um, You might get yourself a... Uh, Penny that just lasts for one usage, and that's it. So we pop this again. Come back over here. Grab this. Pop it one more time. And then I think we can get one more charge here. So we go into this room here, and if there's one more room down here, then we should be able to get an additional charge. There isn't. This isn't even a combat room either, so... Kind of a bust on this one. Sad that we found the Tinted Rock at the very end here, because obviously we wanted to duplicate as many Soul Hearts as we could with the D1. Didn't get the opportunity. It's okay. Health is still fine right now. Just make sure we don't leave after this floor. We are going to have to donate to the Mausoleum Door, which is scary. But we've got nine lives. That's the thing. We've got nine lives. All we need is a good, is a good um, D1 room. And things get a lot better for us. So let's fight this guy. Might end up getting a good angel deal this time, anyways. Right. Ooh. Got some soy boys on the walls. Soy boys on the walls. We still got perfection going as well. Ah, I see. I see you. He's gonna do his little cracks in a minute. Careful for that. 
Nope, he's not. We got fire rate. That's good. Right. We're good to go. Let's go and do our chase sequence. Do you know what? I'm going to go and mausoleum door it first in case on the unlikely scenario that we die during our chase sequence with nine lives. We want to drop this. I don't know if perfection gets affected by this door, but just in case. Like, why would we take the risk? All right, let's go get our next, our next piece. We are slightly slower here, so there's a good chance we get hit at least once going through the mother chase. We can pick up all of our luck pennies now, though, and get quite a lot of luck. We also want to drop perfection out here anyways. I don't think it matters, actually, uh, but I am going to do it anyways. Oh, beautiful. Up to eight luck without perfection. Very nice. <laughs> right. Just stay focused for this. We shouldn't get hit at all if we stay focused. Don't really know how we get across to that. Went the long way around this time. Sadly, we can't use our poops or anything here. The, the I think the biggest downside is really going to be our tier rate. Because if there's any rooms that require us to destroy poops, which is fairly regular and fairly often, them are going to be pretty difficult to do while Mother's chasing us. Just remember, we can always go back to previous rooms and everything. There's plenty of ways to do this without getting hurt. We just gotta, we just gotta sort of actualize them and and not panic. My my biggest problem is that I panic too much, and you can see already that 0 0.9 speed is kind of screwing us over here because we're um, 0 0.9 speed means he's able to chase us super easily. Right, good, good. Everything's going okay so far. Managed to get to this room here. These are the rooms that I was talking about to be really annoying. Ooh, a half soul heart, though. We, we might actually, in the rare case, gain HP from this one if we get lucky. Good. What? Good. We got across there. The poop to destroy here, shit. This is the hardest one for us, and I knew it was going to be. But we did it. We did it. Wow, good stuff. Really good stuff. Grab perfection, up to just a modest 18 look. Nothing about it, just don't worry about it, it's chill. Right, health is the worst aspect of this run currently. Also speed, I'd say. Speed is pretty bad too. But how how crazy is it that leaving Book of Revelations as Blue Baby, probably one of the riskiest things we could do, Book of Revelations is a, is a run-winning item, was the thing that wins us the run, or at least gives us the potential. We might not win, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that it's, it's, it's rel as long as we get HP, it's relatively likely. Um, again, I could D1 these things, but I'm really holding out for, um, I'm really holding out for a soul heart at the minute. Mini battery. Crack this open. So there's our soul heart. I don't know if these poops can be duplicated, but I'm going to try and pick them up nonetheless, which is going to be problematic. Um, oh, you stupid poop. Got it. Okay, I'm going to have to go and use a bunch of poops here to try and get over there. Uh, this one this one also works. We know that. Good, good. Slick. That. And then... Okay, there you go. So now we're in a good spot to do this. This is the only thing that can be D1'd. So now, now we're in a good spot. We're in a really good spot. As long as we get rooms with combat. God damn it. Rooms with combat would be nice. I mean, this is an XL floor. We should have plenty of space to do this. In fact, this should be the... The fact that this is an XL floor is going to be great for us. Go back up here. We, we, the, the only thing is, the only big problem, this is going to be a mighty massive amount of backtracking, which is just a massive pain. 
but it's really worth it. We, we've got to do this. D1 is super useful if you're willing to put in the time. Got, do you know what? Can the Bible track just fuck off? It's been in like three chests and showed up like once already. It's just like, come on, go away. Don't like the idea of this room. Do you know what? Yeah, wait a minute. How do we do this? Okay, wait a minute. We've got low speed, so I think we're going to get hit here. Nope, we're good. That was a very weird room. Didn't like it. Didn't care for it myself. Right. Back we go. I, this is why I wish I had more speed right now. Got well, something we need to remember for Mother. The moment we get hit, we lose half of our damage. So that, that does make the fight a lot harder. I'm not saying that that's going to make it impossible by any means, but it, it is going to make it significantly harder if we lose half of our damage. So it would be nice to get some actual just normal damage ups so that our base damage without it being doubled is a bit better. Also, Juicy Sack is being an absolute legend right now. Nice, we got it. We got it. And here's a black heart as well. I'm just going to take the black heart. I'm not going to bother messing around with duplicating that one. It's going to get too confusing. Beautiful. What we also maybe need is like a holy mantle or some sort of defensive item so we can last as long as we can in the mother fight without getting hit. That would be good. Um, boom. 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 Good. Crack that open. Quite all the poops lined up there. Right, one more room. We can go duplicate once more. I think we only need one more duplication anyways. Oh, this room, really. We did it. We did it. Yeah, so we do, we'll do like one more duping, and I think we're good to go after that. I think we'll be at max HP. The D1 just allows you to do these crazy, crazy things. It's one of the best items in the game. I, I used to massively underrate it, but Tainted Lost made me realize just how strong it can be. And even if it's not for healing and health, it's still a like really top tier item. But other stuff, getting keys, getting dimes, like stuff like that, extra chests, it's just all sorts of good stuff. All sorts of good stuff. Still not found either of our item rooms yet. I will point that out. Okay, so this, this Lost Soul is going to keep showing up until we open the chest, isn't it? I think that seems to be a thing. That's kind of interesting. You're, like, predetermined to get something, and until you open the, a chest, like, you don't... You keep just keep getting it. How do we get across to these, exactly? I want that. I want it. I want it now. I want Binky. Where the hell are my item rooms? God damn it. There's one. Also, quite a lot of money. Champion belt, that's exactly what I was asking for. Just a flat damage up. That plus nine. Oh my goodness. How to jump. No, thank you. Punching bag's decent here. Although, could throw off our mother attack patterns, which is going to be kind of annoying. Um, Really? Okay, that, that still worked. Thank God. I was going to say, that didn't work the way I wanted it to at all. Again, should have duplicated the chest. Would have been a real good idea to just duplicate the chest, because it's an item chest. Item chests get duplicated, just give more items. Kind of a foolish thing for me to do to not use it there. Right, well, Cisco, D7, Stigmata, even more damage. Right, let's go. Pretty much good to go this floor. I'm playing super, super, like... Fucking, I'm not paying attention. I'm just kind of running in and shooting, and it's still working out. Ooh, false PhD there. Some good stuff. The luck is giving us quite a lot of chests, I'll say that. It changed the trinket in that chest there, look, because the Bible track sure showed up. Oh, like, Lost Soul, I think it was, actually. Right, let's go fight our first boss of this floor. Goddamn juicy sack, you are killing it. Boom, 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 boom. Full health. Love it. It is the best, and I love it. Oh, wait, this is the next cell floor, isn't it? So both bosses at once, of course. Speed up. We've been needing that for so long. Thank you. 
Uh, and we are good to go, right? We are good to go. Could lose perfection here very easily. This is a hard fight. Doesn't matter, though, because it's dead. Um, we'll take that for the extra damage. We will check this at least. None of them are worthwhile to me, I don't think. For the amount of health that I'd lose. Oh my god. Is that even fair? Is that even fair, game? My goodness, we got like 50 damage. We got like Ipecac levels of damage. Without Ipecac. Thank you for disappearing. There's probably going to be a trap room here that ends up making me lose my uh, my perfection. That's what I bet it's going to be. I'm going to leave that black art there. Um, in fact, I think we can dupe it a little bit. We don't need to, again, but why not? Oh, God. Them enemies are kind of annoying. Blank rune. I guess we'll keep blank rune. Oh, damn. That guy's teleporting all over the place. Black heart. I don't need to dupe the black heart a ton, but I am going to do it anyways because we can take them. Even if we don't need them, if we don't get hit this floor, we can take them and black heart damage could end up killing mother a bit faster. Could end up killing mother a little bit faster. PJs and speed up. Okay, so this is a situation in which we want to D1 those chests. We'll get more items if we D1 those chests. First of all, the charge key is very good. Right. Leave the charge key there a minute. Right. Keep going. Do one more room. Then we can get two charges on that. God damn. That almost hit me. That very nearly hit me. Let's go back. A lot of backtracking on this run, but I think it's worth it. Definitely. So... This should give us a chest that contains an item. No, it doesn't. That must be something that got changed then. So that's fine. So let's just open up that and grab that. PJs, we can just leave until we need it. If we need it. That was close. The Magician, we've already got Herming. Not super useful. It's really weird that it predetermines like what it thinks you need. I'm just going to grab this key because I'm not coming back this way. Um, it, it predetermines what it thinks you need. It's like, here, you need the Rotten Penny Trinket. I will keep giving you the Rotten Penny, tr penny, penny Trinket until you open the chest that has it in it. You know what? I'm just going to pick all these up now. I think that's enough. I don't want to backtrack too much more than that. Let's keep a going. Let's keep a going. Okay, this is an annoying enemy. But he's dead. But now he's dead. And he's dead again. And dead again. Library this time? Okay. I think we want Bookworm at least, don't we? But this should be it. Yeah. But then we, wanna, we still want to take the D1. Still want to take the D1. Right. Almost at the boss fight, I'd imagine. Kind of weird how Tech 2 homes. It's kind of strange. Right, this could be the, the loss of our um, our perfection here, because these bosses are really hard. Like, even if they die fast, they, they still can do a lot of damage. Luckily, we're okay, though. Ugh. We, we definitely want that, because we, um, we have PJs back there. Also... I think we want... It seems weird, but I think we want Celtic Cross. Oh, we got back up to full health from Seraphim anyways. Yeah, chance for invincibility when getting hit should save us, I think. It should basically guarantee that we're okay. Go down. I, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure with Celtic Cross, we basically can't lose at this point. And also Perfection... Uh, not Perfection. P Pentagram upped our damage quite a lot there. We're just going to kind of rush through at this point. Soul heart there. Nice, nice. Don't know where we're going, but I'm speeding on through. Speeding on through. Speeding on through. Oh, there goes perfection. 
Not that we needed it, but still. I was hoping we could complete Mother while still having perfection. I don't really know what hit me then. I think there was like a rogue bullet left over from an enemy that I'd killed. The rogue shot. Don't do this. There you go. I say, you're being annoying. Oh, that guy's invincible until we kill this dude. That's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. An eternal heart there? Oh, no. Bound to get hit on this room once or twice. Oh, wait. We've got flight. What am I doing? What am I doing? We'll take that eternal heart into the fight. Why not? And we're pretty much ready to go here. We're pretty much ready to go. Go in. Pop that. Bacano. Got hit immediately and lost all of our damage. I can't believe that. I mean, we should still be absolutely fine here because we still have 29 damage. But I just... How did you hit me that quickly? Really? I knew I was going to get hit at some point, but I was not expecting it to be literally immediate. Good. Black Arts are doing good. This attack is BS. Just sidestep. It's okay. Luckily, Herming means that we can kind of just completely focus on dodging here. This attack isn't too bad if you sidestep, but when you're moving around a lot, or it forces you to move around a lot, it can be really bad. Or she does this. Holy hell, that was, that was really good dodging there. I do have to pat myself on the back. Okay, I don't like being, being to the left here. This is weird. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit there. Can you... I hate the way she drifts around. I wish she'd just stay in one fucking spot. I get that the fight's meant to make you feel really claustrophobic, but it just feels so BS. Also, could Celtic cross proc once? There you go. It procs. There you go. We got her. Easiest run of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What a great one. We got ring cap unlocked. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.